Hello YouTube, it's Rails Still here, and if you watched the end of yesterday's vlog, you know two things. Well, one, today is actually my 13th birthday, so hooray for that, and that I got a new iPod Touch 6th generation. Taking a look at the iPod Touch from the outside, not much has changed from the 5th generation. The only differences are, is that there's no iPod Touch loop, which isn't a big deal to me because I wasn't really going to use it anyway. And it also comes with some new colors, including gold, space gray, silver, pink, and blue, which I think are some great color options. I got the gold because I think it looks the best. And the storage options are $200 will get you 16GB, $250 will get you 32GB, which is the storage option I have. And you can bump that up to 64 or 128 for 350 and $400. But where most of the changes to the 6th generation is under the hood. Now it comes with an Apple A8 chip with an M8 motion coprocessor with 1GB of RAM. The A8 chip used in the iPod Touch 6th generation is actually the same one used in the iPhone 6. The only difference is, is it's slightly underclocked at 1.1GHz, with the iPhone 6 being clocked at 1.3GHz. But the difference is microscopic in real-time use. But with these specs that the iPod Touch 6th generation it runs apps and games like they were designed for it. They even run better than my iPad. From light games like Crossy Road and Hill Climb Racing to heavier 3D games like Train Driver 2 and Battleship Craft. It doesn't complain, it just runs them. Apple even made some changes to the camera. It now has an 8 megapixel sensor that can record in 1080p 30 or 720p 30 or 720p at 120 fps slow motion. This is a great slow motion feature and I love playing with it. It's not as good as the iPhone's 6 and 6 Plus's 240 fps slow motion, but is still a great addition. Which is neat because the Apple Touch 5th generation didn't have any slow motion whatsoever. It also has time lapse and panorama. The front camera is just a 720p 1.2 megapixel camera. It has been heavily updated by Apple. Basically the same as the fifth generation, but it puts up a great shot when you're just recording a selfie or anything like that. It'll do the job just fine. It actually performs quite well. But I have heard that Apple made some changes to it by sprucing up the colors and stuff like that. So that's it for me today guys because future videos are coming soon to compare this thing to tons of other devices including my Chromebook, iPad, cameras, stuff like that so you can look over to all that comparison stuff because I love doing those videos and I hope you enjoyed this one though. Um, comment down below on what you think. I really like the gold and 32GB was just the right amount of storage. So yeah, I'll see you later guys.